What's up guys, Nolan here. Opinions are cool and this video will probably provoke some of you or a lot of you to have some. So I'll remind you to leave them in the comments below or you can come by a live stream of which I will be live when this video goes live. So link in the description and on the screen if you wanna come by and talk about anything that comes up in today's video. Again, link in the description and up on the screen. First topic for today is Augment, aka the PR lead for Escape from Tarkov, dropping a couple hints on us yesterday. I already put up a short about this, but for those who haven't seen that, here it is. As some of you might remember, BSG's goal for this year was to make Tarkov ready for full release. And it's looking like that's still the plan, or at least they're on progress to, as he's telling us this here, with 1.0 is coming, aka full release is coming. Does Tarkov seem like it's ready for full release sometime in the next year? Let me know what you think. On top of that, the thing he commented on was the first official guide slash video tutorial for Escape from Tarkov. As some of you might have already heard, what does a game need for full release? A tutorial. The breadcrumb trail for full release is definitely starting to form here. Last thing from Dimitri is also this tease here. He's going to end up spelling something out, which he's done multiple times in the past around arena, but maybe it's for the base game now. It could be really for anything. All we've gotten is a T and an A so far. For now, I'm thinking it's going to say Tarkov something, but last time he did spell that word backwards. So if this is being spelled forward or back and expected to be finished in the span of several months at one letter or character a month, my best guesses are Tarkov and Tarkov 1.0 along with a date. If BSG announces a Tarkon, aka a Tarkov convention, where the entire convention is just about Tarkov, this year I am banking on them giving a date for full release at that convention, along with a bunch of other crazy stuff. And no matter where it is, you can count on me being there. I will sell a kidney if I have to. Next topic for today is my buddy 41 reminded me yesterday that years ago he told everybody that he has voiced a character in Escape from Tarkov. No, not USEC 3, a character. The way he reminded me makes me think whatever it is he voiced is coming soon, along with the fact that Dimitri there is pushing the 1.0 around along with the beginning of this tutorial series. So we're kind of running out of time if the game is going to be released. So banking on that character speaking English, the only thing that leaves us with is... 40 could have voiced another USEC boss, Peacekeeper himself in game, another English speaking quest giver, which none come to mind at the moment. Any of you guys that are lore guys, let me know. Or Black Division, a Black Division boss, a Black Division character, something going on with Black Division. Those are our choices for English speakers in the game and in the lore at the moment. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, Black Division has been accidentally, albeit confirmed by Nikita in the past as coming to the game, but we don't know to what extent. Extent. Those who have seen the raid series knows the terminal location next to Shoreline is where the Black Division showed up. I'm guessing they play a role there just like in the series. And with Terminal being the final location and with them inching towards releasing it, this all could happen sooner than we think. Speaking of timing, last year we got our roadmap for the year in April. This month, by the way, for those not keeping track. So I'm not holding my breath here, but if you are waiting for a new one, this is the month. We'll see what pops up on it for our next wipe, which while we're on the subject, shouldn't come around until at least July. But if we're gonna get a roadmap like it has in the past, which should tell us when, we'll see if we end up getting the roadmap. Speaking of roadmaps, Arena had a patch where they got rid of tier one completely and worked on the matchmaking to get you into games quicker only there were people playing. They deviated from the roadmap and did not connect it to the base game or add a new game mode, but they did add a new map and they did the whole get rid of tier one, you know, thing. If you didn't have tier two unlocked before, now you do as everyone has tier two unlocked with two classes to start as well as again, because they removed tier one, you need something to be able to play. There's going to be a Twitch Rivals tournament on Arena on the 19th of April, which I doubt I'll be playing in, but if a spot opens up and I get an invite, I might say yes, depending on who the squad is and stuff like that. If I haven't been invited, I'm probably not going to play. So don't worry about it, guys. But if there is a Twitch Rivals going on and maybe they interview Nikita and maybe there's some stuff going on with that, maybe we get some news. We'll end up seeing on that end what's happening. But speaking of interviews with Nikita, last but not least for this video, it seems we will be getting a huge Q&A with Nikita here by the end of the weekend by way of Pestily. Those of you who have been asking where my Q&A was, well, short story is I had it, except he didn't end up really giving any good answers answers along with stuff he wouldn't answer and then stuff that they didn't want to go public yet that he answered accidentally just like twitchcon unfortunately on that end of things my opinion is it's their game i used to be a dev i used to work in dev i understand it's their project i don't want to ruin any kind of release 
however that release might go of a system or a feature or things that they are working on if they don't want me to talk about it that's fine go ahead and hate me hate me if you want I, I won't talk about it it's fine what i'm really hoping here is because it's pestily who is of course way cooler than me and has a much bigger following they gave him the answers that i couldn't get it sounds like it's going to be a very long drawn out conversation so once he posts it as always i will put up a summary for you guys here and i will also share his video when it does go up that's going to be over on twitter and i'll also put it up in the uh comment or the community section here on youtube i'm really hoping that he got some good answers there because we need them we truly do and according to his tweets it sounds like a good one so fingers crossed there that will be the next video that i post to this channel so turn notifications on if you are interested now if you're curious what i mean by this channel i mean i have several now because the toxicity of the community the cluelessness of the devs leading to hopelessness of trying to cover this game in a positive light has driven me to fall out of love with the game and genuinely hate my life to the point where i weave motorcycles through traffic at felony speeds on a weekly basis in order to feel something although to be honest i don't know if it's just tarkov that contributes to that we'll see if it goes away in the pursuit of getting away from that i started doing other stuff both of those channels can be found here and my stream can be found in the description of which i am live right now that's gonna do it for today guys thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day see you guys